All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome. I saw everybody liked uh, playing the old uh, Romance of Three Kingdoms 2 last time, so we're going to go ahead and do it again, but we're not going to be Lu Bei. We're going to be uh, Dong Zhuo. We're going to play Dong Zhuo. I've never played as Dong Zhuo before. Uh, he's got a real problem because he's not very charming. Everybody hates him, but uh, yeah, we'll see how he does. This is the only scenario he's in because he's killed after the other ones. Because Not because everybody ganged up on him so much, but they're able to play him and Lu Bu off against each other. We have Lu Bu, who is the highest war ability dude in the whole game, but doesn't do you a whole heck of a lot of good when Lu Bu will betray you at the drop of a hat. So, yeah. And it's hard to keep people loyal when you are Dong Zhuo anyway, because... He's low on charm. Uh, Forge letter. Yan Shu likes to bring Forge letters. That's one of his uh, more charming uh, uh, personality traits there. Now, the first person I'm actually going to try to make a move against is going to be Sao Sao. Lu Bei is preparing to attack us. Well, that's true enough, but it's kind of far off of that. Okay. So let's see. Who are we going to try to charm up first? Let's go ahead and try to charm up. Jaya Zhu. I'm actually gonna move a couple of these guys. Actually, I'm gonna do because you want to make sure to have the most uh, charming people as your governor. And I've looked through this a little bit already, so I know what kind of change we have to make. We have to have this guy I'm the governor of this province, and I'm gonna move Jaya Zhu. And who else? Oh. Screw it, you Zen. We're gonna move them down the street. <laughs> For this strict purpose, it's just hard when you have this many people. Let me go ahead and change the assignment in my army here. Because to give Lu Bu 20 sol uh, 50 soldiers, to give Lu Bu 20, which I didn't know that before. That's kind of was weird to me uh, that they had that split there. Okay, that'll do. Good. Uh, can we buy weapons yet? Probably don't even want to buy weapons yet. Let's go ahead and uh, let's work the land here. We have Lai Ru here, who's pretty smart, so that'll help out quite a bit. Uh, one of the things Dong Zhuo has going for him that's pretty neat is that he has a very uh, he has some good land going for him. Like all three of these provinces aren't bad. This is the weakest of the three provinces, but it's still it's still not too bad. 2,500 population. That's all we can really judge the provinces by. By the way, is like is uh, the population. Everything else, it, uh, there's nothing really other than it might come nicer as far as when you get it, you might have a higher land rate, you might have a higher flood control or whatever. So that might be different. But other than that, they're identical to each other, except for the population. All right, got to make sure my governor's loyal for, for Pete's sake. All right. Let's take the dumbest guy. I'll have him reorder the troops. There we go. Nicely done. And get out a sign because we want to make sure that we, we kind of concentrate our uh, military power here. Not that we really have much of any military power at this point, but, you know. We have to concentrate as much as we can. Nobody's really going to attack till after the first harvest when people actually have some money to build up their militaries. Like, the way this game is designed, pretty much all the lords have 100 troops. All their, uh... Eh, nah. All the lords have 100 troops. Uh, governors have 50 and 10 for everybody else. Although I saw that is a true... And that's the first time I've actually saw that. Yan Lan, who's with Yuan Shao. Because, uh, yeah, Lu Bu had 50 and uh, Hua Zhong had 20. So that's pretty good. Uh, it was good for us because I could strip those guys off uh, the untrustworthy Lu Bu. Who I will make no attempt to make more loyal because it really doesn't make any difference with Lu Bu. However loyal you make him, he's uh, he will just turn on you anyway. So there's no sense in trying to make that dude uh, any more loyal. 
All right, man, we got that up pretty quick, which is nice. The rest of these guys, maybe we can do okay with. Uh, Dong Min is related. I don't remember if he's his brother. Maybe he's his son. I'm not sure. But uh, he's somebody, all right. I'm going to move uh, Jaya Shwu and Hu Zen the hell out of here. Because that'll help us be able to uh, make that province uh, a little bit nicer. So come harvest time, we'll be able to collect enough rice. We can sell a bit of rice and we can we can get moving as far as taking land. Because the biggest deficit we have as Dong Zhuo is a dearth of like real good generals. I mean, we got we got a couple of good war ability guys. We got probably the smartest guy out there right now, which is uh Jia Zhu, Jia Zhu. Uh but other than that, like like charm wise, we don't really have anybody who's charming worth the crap, and we just we just don't have them in great enough numbers. Luckily, Sao Sao right next to us, he's got a number of uh good generals, and we're going to try to poach them. Well, we're going to try to attack him, actually, because Sao Sao, of all the people in this game, they play Sao Sao the best. I don't care if anybody gets Lu Bu. I'd like to keep Lu Bu so that he can just challenge the personal combat. I don't know why that guy wants friendship with me. Well, I don't trust that. When they do that, I feel like they're trying to make an alliance 19 and 9. Anyway, but yeah, that's what that's what we got going for us with uh, this uh, combination here. We've got some good uh, good fighting generals, uh, and we've got some uh, a couple of okay smart dudes. But it ain't it ain't great, and we need to do better. Let me appoint a new governor. And it looks like Dong Zhuo has a flower on his head. Did anybody else notice that? I noticed that. Which I think is kind of funny. Because he was a pretty brutal dude. At least according to the story there. You know, I mean, this story has been romanticized, as you might guess from the name. Although that's not the name of the book. The name of the book, I think, is simply Three Kingdoms. Uh, very good story, but it has been like, you know, a lot of mythology, tall tales, and stuff like that why is Zhu has rebellious intentions he, he better not well I'm gonna leave him in power for the time being anyway because he's uh, yeah wh who else am I gonna put on uh, in the leadership role there so we'll keep him there hopefully nobody delivers him a secret letter that tells him to betray us although if uh, if anybody comes in and delivers a letter to him, I'll be sure to take him out. Flooding, good, it avoided us, I'm happy. And uh, yeah, let's see what else happens here. Okay. Wang Lung, he never does anything. Lu Yang, all he does, holy crap. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Yang Hua is like in the 80s as far as loyalty goes. And so he's a governor, and if he doesn't get changed quickly, somebody a lot of times will poach him, and that'll cause the whole province to flip, which is, you don't see that very often. Eh, okay, I'll, I'll team up with uh, uh, with uh, Lu Biao for now, and that rhymes. Lu Yai, what do you got there? Feng Ji, go ahead, take him. That might be useful if I want to attack Province 19, which is the largest population-wise in the game. No, you're my primary target, dude. Now, I'd like to ally with Province 6 and get a, a joint attack going. I'm going to wait till... Well, i got to wait till the harvest, for one. But for two, what I really need to do here is wait for Sao Sao to make a move. And he will. He will. He'll usually make a move against uh, Kong Rong in Province 8, and he'll murder him. Uh, and if that's the case, that'll be just fine by me because he'll split his forces. Now, see, that's the problem with having that low charm. You see how little that went up? It was pretty pretty sad looking. All right, that's okay, though. Well, it's a high population, too, so it's that makes it harder. So the higher the population, the harder it is to bring the people's uh, loyalty up. Thornbush is no place for a phoenix. You need greater territory. 
thank you very much. But for now, we're just going to have to be happy with what we got. Because we kind of suck. Uh, but that's okay. Things will improve sharply in a short amount of time in the next few months. Especially, like I said, if uh, South House starts extending himself, I'll be happy to take advantage of that opportunity. Like I said, I hope they don't take Lu Bu right away. Because I want to use Lu Bu to uh, challenge people to duels and run away. Because he'll win almost every duel. I mean, it would be very... It would be odd if he were to not win a duel. No, I don't want to ally with you. Sao Bao, he's terrible. Yeah, he's like the worst general in the game. I don't know why you'd even waste the guy to try to recruit him. But whatever. I'm right now, I'm not in the market for trying to recruit anybody. Because, uh, yeah, I just try to hold on to what I got. But ain't, which ain't always easy. I'm going to try to get a good texture. Look at Lu Bu's charm there. Not a very charming feller. But we got the land value up at 100, so I'm pretty happy with that. Yep, good. All right. Let's give unto the peeps. Promise 20 is a menace. Let's plot against them. It might be a menace, but uh, we really don't have uh, much to plot against them. Well, we got our brains to plot against them with, but uh, but really, we're we're not in a good position to be doing much of anything right now. That's why I do it. Plus, I don't. They haven't really menaced us. They've allied with us, which you know you can use all the friends you got when you're Dong Zhuo. All right. Get a decent harvest out of that. It's June now. Cheng Yi. Lai Su. It's my guy. No, I wasn't able to capture him. We take any of my generals. I have enough as it is. Lai Ru's the better one, though. Yeah, sure. Han Song. He's not mine. You can have him. No. No, you Jua, which I, you know, I'm sure that name is. Wow, I capture all these letters, huh? You Jin, you can have you Jin from uh, Sao Sao. Take him. Uh, no, you should try to capture him, but you lose trust if you try to capture people who are uh, just proposing uh, friendship and cooperation and alliance. So it's not good because the lower your trust gets, it'll be harder and harder to keep your people's loyalty up. Your, uh, not your people, but your, uh, your troops. So that's the last thing I need is to be tanking out my loyalty at this point. All right, let's see. Is everybody loyal at this point or loyal enough? Man, Shang Shu is a, what a jerk. After I gave him governorship, Figure he would be just. Oh, let's get the land instead, because I'd like him because he's more charming. Probably gonna have to replace him eventually, which is really unfortunate. Because I don't have, like I said, I don't have any charming people. Yeah, I suspect it too, but uh, a charming rebel is better than an un. Alright, we're pretty good to work on the land because now we'll have the smart guy to work on the land with us here and that'll make things a lot better do I have any uh... no that's as high as the charm gets because the uh, Zhang Zhuo is at like 75 oh, we're already in the harvest period alright well let's see how this all works out No, I don't want to be your friend. Gosh darn it, can't you take a hint? Or you either. Now go attack somebody so I can take advantage of your relative weakness. 
Yuan Shao doesn't want an ally. Well, that makes sense because Yuan Shao was the leader of the anti uh, Dong Zhao coalition. All right, we sell about 800 units of rice there. Yeah, not bad at all. We can hire some more troopers now. 200 will do just fine. Let's reset it all. So we have 400 troops. That's pretty good. 100 for you. 100 for you. I don't know about you, Fan Chu. Be careful about you. He's burned me before. The 70 of the rest. Nice. You can buy some weapons? Yes, we can. Of course you can, because if you can buy... And then we're going to have to train up, of course. Does anybody still get shitty loyalty? Yeah, freaking Lysu. All right, all right. Now he's got troops, too. Lu Bu, you don't need any weapons, because you're, uh, you're not getting any troops, buddy. You're going to be my secret, like, weird weapon. All right. Doing well, but we don't have any... Don't have any whatever here. So that's too bad. Everybody's loyal. Good. All right, let's go ahead and give some stuff to the people. We shouldn't expect it, because Lu Biao, he's pretty passive. Oh, man, wow, that was impressive. Usually don't see him. Able men are as difficult to find as pearls. Yes, indeed. Very artistic. Man, look at that. Their rice price is crappy. Has anybody else got a better written that? I guess so. All right, let's move some rice over here. Have them sell it. And that's something I'll do sometimes. Because, yeah, the rice price here is not... It's not conducive to uh, making out like a bandit, you know? There we go. Looking good so far. Looking real good. Looking real good. So we'll have to see how this will turn out, but we should be ready to go on the attack in just a little amount of time. Like I said, I'm kind of waiting to see if what Sao Sao is going to do. No. Taishi Sai, wow. I'd rather have Taishi Sai than that crappy little province, I can tell you that. Lu Yong is a terrible leader and a terrible general, but Ta he's got Taishi Sai under him. And Taishi Sai has, like, uh, he's great. Let's just say that. Oh, what's the, I didn't even check the rice price there. 41, yeah. That's good. All right. Wait, don't have him do it. Have somebody... Have Lil Boo do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, whoops. I want to move general. I want to move goods. I'm going to give these guys their thou. There we go. Enjoy it, my boys. Way to go, Lyro. Let's see, is anybody else disloyal? Yeah, just just the guy who has to be disloyal. You can buy your weapons. And we gotta start training. And then we gotta hope that uh Will Sao Sao will make a move here. That's what we need him to make a move. Need him to make a move. Everybody's loyal. Can't sell rice. Okay. Let's move some rice over here. Because we got a pretty good rice price there. So 500. The rice is the number of grain, the number of units of rice you can buy for uh, uh, for 100. So the lower that number is, the higher the rice price is. You know, sometimes it goes a long time with these load screens here. It's kind of funny. I mean, what, do you got to load the cartridge up? Yeah, I suspect you may be plotting something, too. Maybe. All right, we'll remove them next turn. How about that? Will that make you happy? Oh, no, I don't want to do it. Right, let's, uh, let's buy some soldiers here, right? Uh, how about 80? Yeah, I think that's a good number. Okay. And then, yeah, let's just go 60, 
50 and 40. But yeah, he's warned me enough about uh, that guy that, okay, I feel like we should probably remove him from his governorship. Anyway, everybody's loyal already, so I guess we don't really have to, I mean, we do have to worry about it, but we don't have to be like, oh man, are we ever going to get their loyalty up? For 11 and 12, I don't know if I said it yet, our, our strategy is going to be really to hold these uh, districts, these provinces, while we're waiting for uh, something to change here. Uh, but the main battle is going to be out of 10 against the neighboring provinces because they're better provinces with better and more unpredictable leaders. Like nine, you got Sao Sao. Obviously, Sao Sao is very dangerous, very good. He's got a lot of good generals, which I also want to get my hands on. Well, Lubu didn't join him, which is whatever. Just waiting to see if uh, Lubu or uh, Sao. Yep. As usual, look at that. Okay. That was expected. That was going to happen. That was faded. We knew that was going to happen. So let's see what. He's gonna he's gonna win. Oh no, maybe not. It's certainly taking him long enough. Nope. All right, he killed off Kong Rong, which always happens. So we get a chance to take advantage of this situation, which we will. Uh, spoiler alert. Because uh, yeah, that always happens. Kong Rong, he's over there. He's backed against the wall. He's got no chance. He's by Yuan Shao, and he's by Sao Sao, and they're going to get him because those guys are both mega aggressive and mega treacherous. Although, when you talk about, like, actually being good, then, yeah, he's not very... I'm going to train these guys up, get them ready for combat here. I do see that I need to worry about the lie brothers loyalty there maybe they're lying to me ha 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 okay let's appoint a different governor here before we have a rebellion on our hands that would suck huh been doing the old flag burning routine all right dong min now, he's definitely not gonna betray us they can't if they're related to you i think the only way they can their loyalty doesn't change from 100 only in the situation that uh oh i didn't sell that rice either that was a mistake okay well, that was a whoopsie. We'll try to do better next time. And we can't sell rice here anyway. Well, let's train the troops, whatever. Wait, what month is it? September, okay. Same winter yet. Okay. Goody. Like I said, I don't expect any movement. Don't expect any movement. So hopefully we won't see any. Because if there is any, we, we would be in trouble with those provinces. But Jerry Lu, Lu Biao is not very aggressive. Not very aggressive at all. And uh, Yon Shu can be aggressive, but generally not. Most of their attention will usually be spent on the South. Lai Bo, have him. What are you trying to do? Oh, no way. Try to capture, or try to recruit Jai Zhu. Or check his loyalty. I'm paying attention. Hell no. Yeah, Yuan Shao, I don't think will offer me the branch of friendship because of uh, historical reasons. Because he was friends with... Uh, he was friends with the one guy. Or he was uh, head of the coalition to destroy me. So I think the game does take that into account when it takes into account who's going to team up with you, who's going to offer you friendship and cooperation and who isn't really need to worry about that people's loyalty eventually here oh shit sure. i don't want to look at that one look at uh okay trains good we're about ready to attack so next turn i think you can expect to see me oh and i didn't trade i didn't trade the rice the butthole oh jeez what's wrong with you you better be more loyal you jerk I think the turn right before the uh, tax thing there is when we'll 
Dong. Poor Dong Min. He gets like the, uh, the what's his name? The generic face. Like so many guys look like that in this game. Okay, Sao Sao is here. He's not armed. Who's he got with him? Man. Okay, he's ripe for the pickings. We gotta go after him. Cause he's he's just him pretty much. And there's uh yeah. So he's whoa, who's the free general here? Wayne Can? Holy crap, let's get him. Uh, let's try to recruit him. Personal appeal. Yay, he joined us. That's good. Yeah, he's a more intelligent guy, so personal appeal works better with him. That's good. He starts off with 77 loyalty, too, which is not bad, too, for just right out the gate after you get him. You would make a good provincial governor. 70 charms, pretty high. Well, for us, anyway, right? All right, so next turn, I think we're going after Gong Sun Yu is trying to get Lu Gui. He can have him. No, I don't even want to read it. Don't care. You can have him if you want him. Yeah, so anyway, I got three guys who got pretty good war ability and Lu Bu. I don't count Lu Bu. You know, we got 90 for Dong Zhuo. We got 91 for Hua Zhuang. And we got 82 for Fan Chu. And Lu Bu joined Cao Cao. Well, not after that, I won't. All right, that's fine. But we lost our, like, secret weapon. And we're going to end up having to refuse personal combat, which is going to cost us some troops, because uh, some of your people desert when you do that. All right. Whatever. All right, so I think that's good enough for one video, and we're about to attack, so we'll start the next video with an attack. All right, bye-bye.